a rainy day, I'm in my car. Uh, it makes sense today, it's graduation, so I have my uh, robes and gowns. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to go with those in the rain on my Vespa. So here I am in the rain uh, on my way to work. You can see uh, it's so wet and rainy outside, you can't even see the mountains. But it is beautiful. We need the rain in Cape Town. Uh, we've had an incredible drought over the last number of months and uh, this is just great it's soaking the earth now as i was driving this morning uh, in this beautiful rain i was reminded of the fact that um, one of the aspects of contemporary uh, popular ethics that is seldom discussed is the notion of beauty now you may ask what does beauty have to do with ethics well traditionally in the ethical discourse um, we have suggested that people have a sort of collective or innate uh, ability to recognize the good and the just and the beautiful. So we, we tend to be able to recognize when something is good. We tend to be able to recognize when something is right or just. And we also have that capacity to recognize when something is beautiful. A beautiful person, a beautiful landscape, uh, some kind of lovely taste and this is known as aesthetics uh, the aesthetic quality of things to be able to appreciate in some senses the rightness of something uh, its symmetry uh, its taste its pleasure and there is a sense in which in Christian ethics uh, we are always dealing with this notion of uh, not wanting to go to extremes because there is of course uh, an extreme to beauty and pleasure it's called hedonism and uh, contemporary culture tends to be obsessed with a measure of hedonism. Uh, Mr. Trump's expression, make America great again, is in, its, in some senses a form of that kind of hedonism. It's wanting to create a sense of pleasure or security or joy uh, for the populace of that nation that uh, allows them to feel that everything is okay. Now that form of hedonism that seeks for pleasure or security or freedom from pain uh, at no expense to themselves or perhaps at the expense of others would of course be unethical it wouldn't be beautiful it wouldn't be just it wouldn't be good it wouldn't be right so uh, there is another form of hedonism which has become quite uh, prominent these days it's called altruistic hedonism um, in some have likened it to the uh, ethics of Immanuel Kant the categorical imperative to say what is uh, for the greatest joy or the greatest pleasure of the largest number of persons uh, what can we do that brings joy to others and uh, of course to an extent uh, that is is not a bad thing to do but we have to be careful that uh, we don't go to excesses on that so we can see for example when forms of beauty are objectified uh, for example in pornography when the human form is objectified in pornography when pleasure is taken to its extreme through the abuse of alcohol or drugs uh, or some kind of uh, inappropriate sexual act then we can see that it becomes unethical just like uh, good actions uh, if they are abused can be unjust so too beautiful things if they are not uh, considered carefully treated with respect uh, enjoyed in a manner uh, which is appropriate can also be unethical so uh, today I want to invite you to think a little bit about your life uh, I do it all the time think about the things that you own and why you own them think about uh, how much time you spend creating your image your appearance how you present yourself to others and why you want to appear in a certain way think about your habits your eating uh, your uh, leisure and um, how you engage in those activities what you spend on them uh, what the consequences of those are uh, for creation and for other persons and remember that in ethics we always think uh, about those things what is good what is right or just and what is beautiful so thanks for watching uh, I need to continue driving uh, so that I can get to the university and uh, get myself ready for the graduation uh, if you found the video interesting please share it and um, 
I'll put some links in the show notes to people who have written on this notion of aesthetics, Hans Ulls von Balthasar, uh, persons like N.T. Wright in his wonderful book, Surprised by Hope. Uh, I'll put a few links to those in the show notes. If you found the video useful, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel. There are lots of other videos uh, on the channel, mainly of an ethical and public theological nature. I'm just changing lanes here. We have to be careful to do that. And uh, yeah, by all means, share the video. Connect with me uh, on social media at Digital Dion on Twitter, on Instagram, uh, or leave me a comment in the show notes below. So thanks for watching.